Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best OBS recording settings 2021 to record your gameplay at 1080p 60fps with no lag. All of the settings that I will be showing today will help everyone regardless if you are a low-end potato PC user or a high-end burger PC user. All the details as to where I got my information for making this video will be down below in the description. I also want to thank each and every one of you guys who have supported me and also we reached 18,000 subscribers so thank you all for that but yet somehow 89.8% of you watching my videos are still not subscribed so make sure to hit that subscribe button right now and also don't forget to press the bell icon but with all of that out of the way let's get this video started so going into OBS, a lot of you know that I record most part of my footage inside of OBS that I use to make my videos. So therefore, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best recording settings for OBS in 2021. So for that, go down into your settings and for the general tab, there is nothing actually to change here except for maybe the theme, but that's our personal preference. We are going to be skipping the stream settings because we only want to change the recording settings. So head down to the output settings and for the output mode, go ahead and set it to advanced. After that, go into the recording tab and for the type, you always want to set it to standard. It's highly recommended by not only me but also a lot of other YouTubers and tweakers so just make sure that this is set to standard. As for the recording path, it's your personal preference, generate file name without spaces, again your personal preference. For the recording format, a lot of people use mp4 and that's what I personally recommend as well and I use mp4 as well. But other than that, I recommend using the MOV or MKV. But for most of you guys, I highly recommend you guys to use mp4 because it's easier to work with and it's also compatible with most of the players and editing softwares. So yeah, it's all around easy to work with, just go ahead and set this to mp4. Just keep in mind that if you set it to mp4 then you won't be able to recover your recordings in case of a pc shutdown or power outage so yeah just go ahead and keep that in mind for the audio tracks this one is again personal preference and depends on the number of audio devices that you have obviously i have the game audio or the desktop audio so i have the track one and then i have my microphone as well that's set to track two i won't be going into much detail on how to set up these but i will leave a link down below in the description to a guide telling you guys how to set up multiple audio tracks inside of obs so you can just go ahead and watch that and follow along with that guide. As for the encoder, for most of the people, I would highly recommend you guys to set this to x264, that is your CPU. However, in cases of a CPU bottleneck, if you guys have a better NVIDIA graphics card, then you would want to set it to NVIDIA and Wink encoder. In case you guys have a better AMD graphics card, then you want to set it to the AMF encoder that I don't have because I have the NVIDIA graphics card. So for most people, set the encoder to x264. For those of you guys who have good NVIDIA graphics cards, set it to NVIDIA and Wink encoder. And for those of you guys who have good AMD graphics cards, set this to AMF encoder. So for me, I'm going to be setting it to x264. Then for the rescale output, you always want it unchecked. Custom mixer settings, go ahead and leave it as it is. And then for the rate control, I always recommend you guys to set this to CPR, that is constant bitrate, because we don't want to be changing and putting a variable bitrate, instead we want a constant amount of bitrate. As for the bitrate value, for low-end PCs, I recommend anywhere between 2500 to 4500. As for me, I am using 4500. For medium-end PCs, I recommend 5500 to 8500. And then for high-end PCs, I recommend anywhere between 10,000 to 16,000. This is going to give you guys the perfect balance of quality and performance, so make sure to use these values. As for use custom buffer size, go ahead and uncheck it. Keyframe interval, set it to 0. CPU usage preset, by default it should be on very fast and that's what I personally recommend as well. But for those of you guys who are running on a toaster, on a potato PC, go ahead and set this to super fast. However, for most of you guys, set this to very fast. Then for the profile, set it to high. Tune, you guys always want to set this to 0 latency for the best performance and best recording quality as well. Then for the X264 options, we are going to be leaving it blank. Then go into the audio options and inside of here, just go ahead and set the audio bitrate for each of these tracks to 160. That is the best setting in my personal opinion and I have seen a lot of other people using this as well. So once you guys have set all of these to 160, we are going to be moving to the audio tab. And the only thing that we are going to be changing inside of here is the sample rate. If you guys want high audio quality, then set this to 48 kilohertz, just like me. After that, going into the video tab and inside of here, the base canvas resolution is actually the resolution that you play your games on or you have set on your screen. 
so to check that right click on your desktop go to the display settings and as you guys can see i have the display resolution set to 1920 by 1080 and i play my games at 1920 by 1080 as well so that's what i have set it here as for the output scale resolution this is the resolution that your video will be in after you are done recording so for most of you guys you want the 1080p quality therefore just go ahead and set this to 1920 by 1080 as for those of you guys who are using really low end pcs and want the video quality to be 720p just go ahead and set this to 1280x720 as for me i want the video quality to 1080p that's why i'm going to set 1920 by 1080 then for the downscale filter, I always recommend you guys to set this to Lanxos, that is 36 samples. However, if you are on a really low end toaster and your PC can barely run OBS, then make sure to set this to bilinear. As for the common FPS value, once again, I highly recommend everyone to use 60 FPS for smoother recording. However, once again, if you guys are using a low end PC, then you can set this to 30 FPS as well. After you guys have done all of those, hit apply and we are going to be changing one final thing inside of the advanced section. And for that, that is the process priority. Always make sure that this is set to above normal and not high. If you guys set it to high, it will cause high CPU usage and as we know, most games depend on CPU usage. Therefore, we just want it to be in the middle that is above normal so that OBS can work properly and also doesn't interfere with the game that we are playing. As for the video settings, you can leave them as they are. But if you guys wanna copy me, render direct 3D11, color format NV12, color space 709 and color range I have set to partial but you can set to full as well. Once all of those changes are applied, hit apply, hit OK. And that's basically it. Now you guys have the optimal OBS recording settings for 2021 to record gameplays at 1080p or 720p if you are using a low-end PC with 60fps or 30fps if you are using a low-end PC. So yeah guys that's basically it for this video. If this video helps you guys then make sure to leave a like down below as it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. And also guys as I just mentioned before 89.8% .8 of you watching my videos are not subscribed. So make sure to press that subscribe button right now before you leave. Use code Ragnatic in the Fortnite item shop. If you guys wanna support me or use anyone else's code it really doesn't matter. Just make sure to support your favorite creator. So with all of that, I guess this is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.